Okay, what day is today, mm -hmm. Evelyn? What day is today? Mm -hmm. Look at this girl. What day is today? Vlogmas 16. Yes. <laughs> Vlogmas day 16. Yes. Mm -hmm. This December 16. Yes. It's really early in the morning, and these two kids are wide awake. Anyway, we just went to the airport. Mm -hmm. Did mm -hmm. back to Canada. We went to the airport and dropped off Auntie Annie to Canada. <laughs> Auntie mm -hmm. Annie is going to Canada. We didn't drop her off to Canada, but we dropped her off at the airport. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good job, Evan. Mm. Mm. Good job. So Evan gets half an avocado a day, but it's supposed to help with his brain. It's supposed to help with getting his brain to mm. respond better, quicker, faster, give more activity, get, get the neurons firing more actively in his brain. Okay, I think in today's video, I wanna talk about SAD and how it affects children and children with autism. Sad, SAD stands for? Seasonal Affective Disorder. <laughs> Again? Seasonal Affective Disorder. That's right. Yes. And how it affects children with autism. Now what's autism? A, a neurological disorder. That's right. And Evan has autism. Who? Evan. And who's Evan? Um, Evan. Evan, his full name. <laughs> name? <laughs> no, who is Evan? Is Evan your dad? No, yeah. Evan's my brother. Ah, okay. And uh, okay. Evan has autism? And Evan has autism. And what about you? No, I'm neurotypical. You're what? I'm neurotypical. Ah, I see. Okay, great. And what's neurotypical? I don't have any developmental issues. Okay, that's what neurotypical means, right? Yeah. Got it, okay. So, the reason why I decided that today is gonna be all about SAD, S-A-D, Seasonal Affective Disorder, is because we live in Seattle and it's like in the middle of the afternoon. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and I walked into our house and it looks like it's nighttime. I mean, I mean it looks like it's nighttime, but look outside. All right, so yeah, this is, this is outside. It's pretty gray out. There's no sun. My little sweet Evan is home. Evan, are you happy to be home? Hey dude, you happy to be home? Huh? Are you happy to be home? Huh? Why are you touching things? <laughs> is my little boy happy to be home? Huh? Look at me. Are you happy to be home? Okay, can you get up? No. <laughs> Evan, dude, get up, please. Those are, that's dirty. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Oh my gosh, barking dog. Okay, hey, dude. Are you, are you happy to be home? Are you happy to be home? Look at me. Are you happy to be home? No. Yeah? Evan, I just want to know, how do you feel about this weather? How do you feel about it? Huh? Do you love it? <laughs> it seems not to bother him. It seems not to bother him. How do you feel about it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wish it was sunny? I mean, you do have a vitamin D deficiency. So, tell me. Tell me, my sweet Evan. How do you feel about the weather? Huh? How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah? Do you wish it was sunny? Do you wish it was sunny? <laughs> do you wish it was sunny? Do you? You do? I wish it was sunny too. Okay, go inside. Hi, Kim. 
Johnny? Evan, say hi to your sister. Say hi to your sister. Say hi to your sister. Not the Christmas tree. Say hi to your sister. Evan. <laughs> All right. I'd like to talk about how this season has affected our son. And there's no proof. It's just my observation. So the biggest observation I've seen since this winter season happened is he's gotten more, he's gotten more hyper. It's harder for him to sleep. He has to take more melatonin. And he doesn't listen <laughs> as much as he has in the past. Now, I don't know if that's seasonal. I don't know if that's his growth spurt. I don't know if it's the fact that he's just six years old um, and it so happens to be winter time. I don't know. <laughs> but I also have noticed, oh, let's sit down here. I also have noticed that he's a little smarter. You know, he picks up on things uh, more. I actually th attribute that to the treatments we're giving him and just that he's getting more mature. But um, he does take more melatonin to sleep. He, if we don't give him melatonin, he has a very hard time sleeping. In fact, he will stay up all night acting like this. Like literally all night, he'll stay in bed and he'll do this. So I don't know. I mean, you know, we're when we move back to Southern California, we will see if his behavior changes, if he needs less melatonin or whatever. So we'll see. Hey, Leilani, come here. Come here, sweetie. So Leilani, come here has been super, super, super obedient. Oh my gosh. So Leilani saw me and Evan on video and she didn't interrupt, right? Good job. I am so proud of you. Because Leilani and I had a talk and when Evan and I are doing a video together, I told Leilani that she's not allowed to interrupt. And when I'm doing a video with Leilani, Evan never interrupts ever so leilani i saw you come from over there and you saw that we were doing a video and then you went back into your room and you were being very very considerate so thank you mm -hmm. i'm so proud of you ah! anyway so we're talking about seasonal affective disorder seasonal affective disorder mm -hmm. and how it affects people i think it affects her too uh, i think she gets a little more cranky autism autism, autism. what's autism Neurological disorder. That's right. All right, anyway, that is my spiel about seasonal affective disorder and how it affects our Evan, who has autism, our son.